Of course, I mean, you know, uh, you have televised uh, what happened there. There were many televisions who took uh, this incident and uh, aired it on the air. We have seen exactly how the crime was committed against a minister who was joining in the International Human Rights Day, planting olive trees. Even at a time when we are practicing our peaceful resistance, the Israelis indiscriminately, with, with, with cold blood, this extrajudicial murder of a cabinet minister should go unpunished. What do you believe uh, happened? How did uh, Ziad Abu Ain die? Well, Ziad, Ziad Abu Ain was trying to explain the situation, why they were there and what have you. The soldiers and the settlers, you know, of course, they were very angry because they were planting trees on a, on a land that is confiscated for Israeli settlements. And this is our right. In the West Bank, these are illegal settlements. We have the right to plant trees wherever we want. These are occupied territories, and we cannot really give in. So Ziad Abu Ain was there spearheading, you know, this International Human Rights Day with many expatriates, with many uh, foreigners who were there. Uh, and so I witnessed what happened exactly. They started, you know, pushing and shoving and, and throwing tear gas, you know, at the people. And he was defending the right to stay there, to plant the olive trees. And the end result was tear gases were, were, were you know, uh, suffocating him. You know, he fell on the ground and he was hit and beaten, you know, before he passed away on his way to the hospital. Can you tell us about uh, his contribution uh, to the uh, Palestinian movement? Uh, how important a figure was he? First of all, he is a member of the Fatah Revolutionary Council. He spent a lot of time fighting for the rights of the prisoners, political prisoners. And he was a cabinet minister in charge of the settlements and the annexation wall. He was holding this portfolio. So it is part of his duty to monitor and verify what is happening on the West Bank in terms of land grab, in terms of settlements and what have you. So he was targeted by the settlers. I mean, that's something which is obvious, that he was targeted and, uh, and, and the end result is to eliminate uh, this, this minister because, you know, his voice, his outcry to the international community time and again to tell them that settlements are illegal and this should be stopped and this coalition government in Israel is, is, is indiscriminately killing extrajudicially people and that's how they have shut his mouth. I, I read today, uh, I, I don't know if this is accurate, that he was once uh, condemned to death for terrorist activities, is that right? Uh, not really, not to my knowledge, but he, he spent a lot of time in prison and you know Israelis could allege anything. Uh, they could put you under administrative attention for six months without uh, due process. Uh, so, you know, they can say anything they want to justify this heinous crime, which is an outright murder that everybody saw, you know, throughout the world.